This video is brought to you by a fork. Yes, it's a fork. Without a fork, you wouldn't be able to eat a lot of wonderful foods like pie. Although you could probably use a spoon too with pie. But a fork just seems much better. A fork. Just use it. Hey everybody, okay, so I'm doing things a little bit differently today. I'm actually running the camera app off my laptop. Now it's good for a couple things. One, I don't have to set up my camera and then bounce everything down. I find doing that is kind of annoying. And also having my phone and having to do this or using a selfie stick um, while while trying to explain myself and having shaky video is also annoying. Now the only downside to this is that this doesn't shoot in HD, it shoots in 480. So but I mean really, I mean are you watching me for the high definition magnificence of this? I mean really? Really this? This. Also, it's kind of like 4-3, 4-3, I feel so claustrophobic in here, but whatever. Okay, uh, I figured I would do some more, um, I got my dice here, right? I got my stack, the stack um, of CDs, and we're just going to... Roll the dice and pick one off the top. I did this last week. I thought it kind of went off pretty well. We'll see. So, um, I'm just gonna gonna roll it and then I'll I will I will be I will be honest, people. I will show you what I roll. Okay, so I'm gonna roll it. I have this box here. I'm rolling the box so it doesn't go anywhere. Okay, so I rolled. Roll the four. Okay, so coming in here, so one, two, three, four. All right, this one. It's uh, New World Sun Live. It's called All The Way Live. And if you know anything about New World Sun, they are a um, Canadian group, uh, gospel, and like a lot of, they do like a bunch of different stuff, but it's mostly roots gospel music. Um, they'll do like, um, so they got a song, Old Time Religion, you know, where they, you know, like they'll do the song Old Time Religion. I discovered these guys a few years ago. Some friends from my church, actually, I, I think I was visiting them and they put it on and um, I can't remember, they, 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 they they broke into uh, an old hymn and it started off really slow and then they just the whole band just went crazy and kind of turned it into just this really crazy crazy jam all the musicians in this band are just excellent the singers just got a beautiful voice so and really live I would say live is a good way to hear them because they're just that good live so yeah that one away let's do another one here Six. Okay. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Okay. So Charlie Parker, um, the best of Ken Burns jazz. The Ken Burns jazz series came out, I don't know, about 10, 15 years ago. It had a lot of criticism to it, but there was a lot of good things about it. I think, I think overall, I think if you've watched any of the Ken Burns documentary series, I think they're all pretty well done. You can debate the, the ins and outs of some of the things that he's trying to go for in it. But uh, with this one, um, the documentary, he released a, a series of CDs documenting some of the greatest jazz legends in history. And you can't really talk about jazz legends without really talking about Charlie Parker. Charlie Parker might be one of the most important players in history. 
Um, I would highly recommend. There's a movie out, uh, came out about 30 years ago called Bird. Charlie Parker's nickname was Bird, and uh, he led a rather tragic life, um, but was a brilliant, brilliant uh, saxophone player, and really redefined the way that the instrument and the way jazz kind of was defined at the time. He, before him, jazz was a lot of big band stuff, and then it really got into a lot of the, the more kind of individual solo and improvisational stuff. Uh, they called it bebop. There we go. So you think about jazz, you think about Miles Davis, um, you got to start with Charlie Parker. So good CD. Okay, we're going to do one more. Okay, hang on. There's a, okay, we've got another six. All right. One, two, three, four five and six this is an interesting one i haven't actually listened to this one in a while this is uh now folk two mocha only nishkan mocha only if you know any sort of if you know vancouver hip-hop mocha only is a legend in vancouver hip-hop and uh ishkan is been involved in the the local scene local um i think ishkan is actually from victoria i mean mocha only is actually originally from victoria too i think but kind of a local BC scene. Um, they um, did a couple collaborative albums. They did Now Folk 1 and Now Folk 2. And I just love Mocha Only's kind of his solo his solo material. Uh, he was in Swollen Members, but really I don't think Swollen Members utilized him very well. I think, you know, he was there kind of more just to kind of be the hook guy. And, you know, he got a lot of exposure through that. But I, I just like his, his um, solo material. He is a very gifted producer, uh, has, has a great voice, can sing really well, great rapper, and he's so prolific, and it's kind of hard to really kind of pin pin him down because he's just got so many different projects he's on. He releases, he releases like three or four new albums every year, and uh, this one, it's nice kind of laid back, chill hip hop music. It's perfect for... Uh, summertime kind of cranking in your car so i don't know maybe i should uh, i'll drag this one out and listen to it in my car and of course the cover you know they're on the moon they're on the moon come on people all right and that's it take care guys hope you guys are having a wonderful weekend i'm doing great and i shall see you guys next time I'm gonna disappear, disappear, disappear. Okay. Um, all right. So you're gonna have some boxes pop up on the screen. If you like what you see. Box is going to pop up. Click on another video or click on the subscribe button to get subscribed to more videos. And that's it. Stay out of trouble. Bye.